Hi, this is Mike with Donastar. I'm here today at the Donastar test facility here in Washougal, Washington. I'm here today to show you the basics of how a fountain soda machine works. I'm going to run through the ins and outs, uh, give a brief description of the components, and uh, hopefully give you a better understanding of how everything operates, uh, whether you're a general manager or an employee or just somebody who wants to know more about how all this stuff works. Um, I know when I first uh, encountered fountain systems, I was like, what's going on here? It's uh, there's a lot of components, there's a lot of things, wires, tubing going all different directions. So hopefully I can simplify that just a little bit for you, uh, make it a little easier for you to understand. Um, <clears throat> we have lots of videos on our channel that'll go in more depth um, on, on each of these components, whether you have an issue with them or you just wanna know they work better. But uh, for this video, I'm just gonna focus a little bit on how how this system operates um, uh, so you have better understanding. There's, there's three basic uh, components to a fountain system. You got water, you got CO2, and you have your product. Uh, so I'm gonna break it down in those three formats. Uh, we'll just go over each component individually um, so you can see how it all kind of ties together. Um, so if you wanna start um, with the water, uh, we'll, we'll start there. Um, so at every location, you're going to have to have a water connection, right? So um, in this particular location, we have our, our tie-in on the sink, uh, 3 8 compression fitting here. Uh, you have to have a minimum of 3 8 water supply uh, for your carbonator and, and your fountain unit. Um, so yours might, you know, look a little different than this. It might be on a back wall, you know, on a half inch copper with a bulb valve shut off or something like that. But either way, you're going to have a main water source. Um, that main water source in most, most facilities is going to run through a water filter. Um, you know, we have a little single stage water filter here at the test facility. Um, you might have a larger scale four stage filtration on a wall in a back room or something like that, or it could be under a sink just like this. Uh, but essentially it's just going to come in, filters your water um, from, that, from that water filter. It's going to run and split at some point. So. Uh, here it's splitting off right here, splits off in multiple directions because we have a few dif different pieces of equipment here. But um, essentially we want to send one side of the water to the fountain unit and another side of the water directly to your carbonator. Um, <clears throat> so this side goes over here to our, our fountain unit. This is going to be your still water. Um, so whenever you're pouring a, a still water drink, uh, like a lemonade or a tea, You'll have that water supply uh, at your fountain, um, and this is uh, you're going to go to your carbonator. Uh, the carbonated water will then come out and go directly to your fountain unit as well. Um, so that's basically it for water. Um, the only other caveat is if you have like an ice machine, um, you might have another water split off to that or on a separate filter, or you'll just have a separate water feed entirely for your ice machine. Um, but as far as the water circuit goes, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, so moving on from that is your CO2. So for your CO2, you're going to have a, a supply location. Uh, right here, we have a small CO2 canister. Uh, you might have a larger one. They have 20 pound, 50 pound. Um, you might also have a bulk CO2, which is very large bulk container that can be located outside or inside the facility. But either way, that's going to have some sort of uh, regulator on it to control the uh, outgoing pressure. Uh, so this is, <clears throat> this is going to have your high side pressure. Uh, this right now is set for the carbonator. So that's your high side pressure. <clears throat> that's going to feed through a secondary regulator, which is located on this bib rack. That secondary regulator is going to drop the pressure down to supply the pump. So that comes out, this secondary regulator and runs in a daisy chains through all these pumps. So all these pumps are being supplied with CO2 gas. Um, the high side is going to continue through here and that goes over here through to your carbonator, into your carb tank. Um, so the way this works is with your incoming water goes through this Procon pump powered by this motor which feeds this tank. Inside this tank you have your CO2 gas and your water mix and out from the tank comes your CO2 or carbonated 
water. That gets fed over to your dispenser. So now your dispenser has your carbonated water and your still water. Only thing left in this is the product. So for that, you have a uh, bag in a box. Uh, boxes are gonna look different depending on your location. Connectors are gonna look different. Uh, a few different style connectors, but you know, essentially all we're doing is we're drawing base product from the box. It runs through this clear Tigon tubing and goes into each individual pump. From this pump with the gas, it's then fed from an out line and all these syrup tubes from each individual pump feeds over to the fountain unit. And behind this splash plate, they're all connected individually to each valve. At the valve is where it's calibrated uh, to adjust the ratio of carbonated water and product or still water and product depending on what you're dispensing. Um, once that's calibrated, you have your product coming on. You hear that noise, that's your carbonator running. That means we are in all working order. Um, hopefully, that all makes sense to you. Um, again, that's a very brief breakdown of, of how this system works. But again, there's only three components that are, are really at work here, which is water, CO2, and product. And they all kind of work in conjunction with each other uh, to make this final product dispense from the fountain unit itself. Obviously, this fountain unit is going to be different, again, from other fountain units you might have, but they all work essentially the same. Um, so hopefully that helped out a little bit. Uh, if you're looking for more information on any of the components that we went over, uh, you can check out our other videos on our Donnerstar page, uh, where there'll be some breakdowns on, on fixes and just uh, a little bit more in depth on, on each component and how it operates. Um, take a look below. Um, you'll find the link to our website and our phone number. If you have any problems or need installation or service work done, you can reach us directly. Uh, but again, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.